Exploring new design ideas is an important way to refine a design. And now, with the new branch and merge capability of SOLIDWORKS PDM, this task is a breeze. Regardless of its release state, parts, assemblies, or drawings can be branched, and their structure is recognized. The destination folder can be defined, as well as a prefix or suffix for the file name, and individual files can be included or excluded from the branch. The branched file is identical to its source. Here, two other branches have been created and refined. When you decide on the preferred design, it can be easily merged back. SOLIDWORKS PDM recognizes the source file and merges it as a new version, even if the source file was renamed or moved. When the assembly is opened, we can see that the refined design is in place. Now, with the new branch and merge tool, error-prone copy, change, and overwrite techniques are no longer needed. Tracking design changes is often done with revision tables, and now the revision table has a direct integration to SOLIDWORKS PDM. As a new revision is added, notice that the revision number is indicated as an asterisk. That is because this change has not yet been approved, and the revision number is controlled by SOLIDWORKS PDM. Comments can be added to the revision table, but the approved field remains blank. When the drawing is checked in, all information is extracted from the drawing, including the information from the revision table. After the approval process is complete, the workflow transition sets the revision number and the approver and updates all fields on the drawing. The revision table, the revision callouts, and the title block are all up to date. It has never been easier to explore new design ideas with branch and merge, and the new bi-directional communication between revision tables and PDM will make sure that everyone on the design team is up to date.